नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल ओके माय टुडेज टॉपिक इज देर इज अ स्पेशल सेशन ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट स्लेटेड फॉर एटीन ऑफ सेप्टेंबर टू ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ सेप्टेंबर ठीक है ना एटीन ऑफ सेप्टेंबर टू ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ सेप्टेंबर वाई वाई द स्पेशल सेशन ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट इट इज बिकम द बिगेस्ट सस्पेंस टूडे दे रिवील्ड द एजेंडा लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट Let's get right into the show. This possibly is the first time in my life that I'm seeing so much suspense. I saw so much suspense over uh, a parliament session, even a special parliament session. For the first time, I'm seeing so much suspense. There were speculations, literally betting. One political party, Congress in Maharashtra, took a press conference, and their president came and said that, "Listen, you know what? They are going to declare Bombay into Union territory." Some people said that, "No, no, no. We, uniform civil code will be uh, put up in the parliament." Some people said, "No, the name is going to be changed from India to Bharat," and so on and so forth. So many speculations. I have never seen such speculations happening. The Parliament of India for crying out loud. So <laughs> I was very surprised. Anyway, today. a lot of this speculation is put to rest at least that is the way it looks is that the real case we will discuss that we'll discuss that in this editorial theek hai na so first as always let's understand what has been said what has been told what has been uh, announced and then we will get into the analysis part of it theek hai okay now um, the special session of the parliament which will be held from september 18 to 22 the parliamentary bulletin revealed that on the first day of the session the two houses that is the lok sabha and the rajya sabha will be discussing on parliament's 75 years journey what happened in the last 75 years starting with 9th december 1946 9 december 1946 is the starting of the constituent assembly discussions so 9 september 1946 is when the constituent assembly first met So right from 9 December 1946 they are going to discuss 75 years of the parliament okay that's the day one the day 2 3 4 there are three bills that are supposed to be discussed that is part of the agenda the bill number 1 is the post office bill 2023 to consolidate and amend the law relating to post office in india bill number 1 the second bill is the election of the chief election commissioner and other election commissioners appointment conditions of service and terms of office bill to regulate the appointment and conditions of service and terms of office of the chief election commissioners and other commissioners bill number 2 now the appointment of chief election commissioners and other commissioners i have done a full fledged program on this i have done a full fledged editorial on this i am going to attach that editorial uh, with this particular uh, program so please do have a look at it so that you know exactly what this bill is all about okay so i am not going to repeat it yeah and the third bill is the repealing of amendment bill 2023 repeal certain enactment and to amend an enactment this is the, these are the three bills that are going to be discussed theek hai so like the opposition even we wonder ke bhai why why call for a special parliamentary session for this this doesn't require it's not that urgent i mean you can wait for the winter session going to happen in a couple of months wait for it and do it special queue okay now uh, the government feels it's important the 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 opposition feels are, are still wondered wondering as to why are we being called now let me tell you one more thing and that is the legislative agenda of the special session need not be limited to the announcement made on wednesday and can be expanded any time so first thing you need to understand is that this announcement the agenda that is announced it need not be limited to that agenda the agenda can be expanded okay and it can be expanded any day so that's number 1 number 2 is uh, this is purely my thought process based on a few experience that i have seen personally my thought process you see the first day you are going to discuss 
सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ इंडियन पार्लियामेंट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली नाइन डिसंबर नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स नाउ वॉट हैपन्स इज देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन लॉट ऑफ टॉपिक्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली डिस्कशन स्टार्टिंग विथ द यूनिफॉर्म सिविल कोड which was discussed in the constituent assembly again please do watch again i am going to attach that uh, uh, editorial for you where i have spoken about the constituent assembly i have spoken about the ucc who discussed what discussed everything so that's attached please have a look okay so that is attached so ucc was discussed the name bharat versus india that was discussed again i have done an editorial on that that too is attached for your for your perusal so please do have a look at that all these were discussed in the constituent assembly and a lot of things were discussed in the parliament now you see i will give you an example and i, I i'll tell you what i am trying to say in 2005 in maharashtra assembly and this i know well is in 2005 in maharashtra assembly there was a gentleman called vivek patil who was an independent candidate earlier on he was with pwp if i am not mistaken but he was an independent candidate from panvel who raised this issue of uh, of dance bars in panvel region he spoke about dance bars he spoke about how dance bars are spoiling the youth in panvel he spoke about how dance bars are creating huge problem for the rural youth in that area he spoke about dance bars as to how the traffic is getting messed how there are accidents happening due to people drunk drivers so he spoke about uh, all of that in the assembly 2005 in response to which the then deputy cm and the home minister of maharashtra mr r r patil had declared in the parliament declared in the assembly my apologies declared in the assembly that he will take initiatives to ban dance bar outside of mumbai region he said i will try and dance i will try and ban dance bars now later on it so happened that he banned dance bars across maharashtra and maharashtra dance bars was banned now he declared it in the assembly in 0 hour that was not a special session though but in 0 hour he declared it and then later on he retrofitted all the amendments and you know he had to amend the bombay police act uh, i remember so the uh, all the amendments and everything was done later on he had announced he had declared his decision right there in the assembly now the interesting factor the interesting factor is a lot of informed sources tell me that the question that the independent mla asked in the assembly was a planted question because the government of the day and the deputy chief minister uh, rr patil had already taken a decision that he would want to ban uh, dance bars at that point in time like i told you outside of uh, bombay limits he wanted to ban dance bars so now this also happens in a assembly this could also happen in the parliament this is an example now why am i giving this example i am giving this example is because there could be a chance there could be a chance that the prime minister could declare something as a response to a question or as a response to 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 something that has been discussed in the parliament and like i told you if you are going to discuss the right from the constituent assembly to today things like ucc things like uh, india versus bharat all these things are bound to crop up are bound to come up chances are that there could be a declaration and chances are that this declaration later on could be retrofitted with uh, amendments and uh, whatever uh, bill and all put up in the parliament so this is quite possible so this is one end this is one uh, speculation the second is like i told you the agenda can be always expanded agenda can always be expanded so this is my point this is what i think about the special session otherwise by the look of it what they declared on wednesday that is yesterday otherwise by the look of it this seems to be a, a very simple and straight forward agenda there is no no complicated uh, topics there is no controversial topics there is no major uh, uh, you know topic of great importance and great urgency and all it doesn't look like that if there is no such urgency then why this special session
So that's uh, the story today. That's my point. Till I see you next time. That's tomorrow at 10. Namaskar.